Welcome back to another vlog slash mail haul video, and we're jumping back into another mail day with some more Goliaths because, you know, I've just been buying up a storm with these things and uh, got a bunch of packages over here that I've been stocking up on for the last, like, I don't know, two weeks. Haven't touched them, haven't looked at them, just been waiting to open them up on camera so I can show you guys what I've been getting, bring you along into the collection and what I've been collecting and trying to collect, and I'm really excited about a few of these. Some really cool, interesting stuff is coming up in these packages. A couple few bonus items. It was my birthday yesterday. It was a great day. I got some new Glios figures from my family too, my wife and kids. They also got me this nice Doro Hidoro shirt. It's going to look pretty snazzy on camera, I think. I know you guys enjoyed the last Glios haul opening and I appreciate the support, which is why I've been saving up so many packages and who knows, maybe I've got more coming in that we can do a third episode of these if you guys like them that much. So let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think. Leave a like on the video and uh, yeah, potentially look for more of these. But let's bring the camera down to the desk. Let's open up some of these packages and see what we've been getting here. Got all my packages set up, ready to go, ready to crack into these things. Got some bonus little Glios figures I've been piecing together and making my own little creations. I think God Beast Designs, uh, I'm loving all his stuff, man. You'll see a bunch of them in here today, including his new drop that just came out. I got some of those, so we will be opening those in one of these packages. I forget which one. Just some really cool, like, kind of customs based off of these glow-in-the-dark ones from God Beast. Really neat. I like what I did with this guy, and then the spare parts I just threw together. This dude, pretty sick looking, though. I'm happy with how he looks, but he looks freaking awesome, man. He looks sick, you know, just making all the creature, all the little cool things in the God Beast uh, line. Ah, they're just so nice to customize with, honestly. It's some of the best pieces to customize with, I think. So definitely check him out. Link will be in the description, especially for his new drop. Going to support him because he's just a really nice guy in general. Uh, I've been talking to him a lot and stuff. And uh, yeah, he definitely deserves a lot of support for all his stuff. Especially because my wife ordered from him for my birthday. Got me this crazy crazy big design. I'll show you a picture of what he is because I'm not going to unload all of this stuff right now. There's just a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. Extra parts, really cool. You can create a big, huge figure with this guy. He looks really sweet. So she got me that. She got me one of these like bio uh, ooze, whatever they're called. I forget what these guys are called. They got like a weird name, don't they? Uh, but like a, a really cool bio guy, really neat in this nice like bluish black really sweet looking i have one in the red version it's like a red and black but she got me this blue one uh definitely excited to use some of his parts especially these claws are going to be really nice to custom build with but then again this guy is just so sweet he just like sent my wife not knowing it was me or anything and that you know we've been talking i've been ordering stuff from him and stuff she he just sent my wife an extra bonus Mushi figure, which is just so nice that he was able to just toss this in for me. A really dope looking design too. One of the older ones, I'm sure. Not exactly sure which line it was from, but it's just super sweet that it was, he just tossed this into the order. So I don't know, maybe he gave me some freebies too. We'll see, but always cool when they toss in a freebie here and there. Got this nice new play mat too for my birthday, which is sweet. A nice new Force of Will one to showcase in my new videos. All right, let's go into some packages. I want to go into really quick a uh, little package that's non Glios related. These are actually some Pokemon cards that I got that I am very excited for. They're part of the Brilliant Star subset, the Trainer Gallery subset. Found a lot of these on eBay for a really good price, and I want to get the whole subset of these, so it's going to be pretty freaking cool to check out all the ones I got in here. Flareon on top. I've already got him. Uh, he just kind of came in the lot with all the rest of all the rest of these. Wow, can't talk. All right, nice Flareon. Oh, I love they put these all in top holders, top loaders. Vaporeon, looking sweet. I don't have this one. Uh, I did pull this guy, but again, just part of the lot. You can't pass it up. Jolteon, I don't have those, so that was a good one from the lot. Zekrom, looking sick. Dusknorm, man, I love these trainer galleries. They're so cool looking. Have this one again. These aren't like the high valued ones or anything like that, but you know, they're really cool. Alcrimi, Alcrimi trainer gallery. And then we have this whole other bag here. Let's pull this one out. See what's in this slot. We got a Houndoom. Pulled him recently. Again, a few of these I had, but I didn't mind given the price I got these at. And all the other ones that I got were just such a good deal. And Eevee, love this card. Just absolutely love this. It looks so cool with the foiling. And Ranguru, Rapid Strike, your Fushu or Shufu, whatever you want to call them. Really dope. 
uh, a nice, very cool full art trainer, the Mustard Man himself. And then I got the Mimikyu VMAX, which is a pretty expensive card. This is basically is what sold me on the lot. Uh, I think it's like a $20 card or something like that. But given the price of the lot, it wasn't much more than $20. And I got all these other extra bonus cards. So now I've got a lot of this subset. Don't have very much to go to complete it. There's only 30 cards in the subset. So this was a great lot to find. Uh, let's just open up this one. Let's open up this one. I don't know what's in this one. Let's see. I just want to get it out of the way so you can see my nice little Hellboy plushie. He looks so good in the background all the time. This might be one of the bigger lots I got. Oh, yes, there's some cool stuff in here, that's for sure. Another huge lot with, like, a bunch of different characters. I mean, dang, there's so many in here. But the main one I got it for, you know, spare parts, you know, all that... Whoa, stuff was a fallen. Okay, we got it. The main one I got this lot for, though, if I can find him, was for this guy right here. Oh, we're missing him. Okay, it's the nice little cool, it's like the glow-in-the-dark skeleton figure, but he's unpieced together. He goes with, like, this guy, switches head, and then his, like, vest and armor. There's his armor. So I got to piece them together a little bit and, like, find all the stuff, but it's all in here from what it seemed like there's this nice little axe very cool cool little like gun cannon thing you can attach to a hand or an arm or something very cool custom piece to involve with custom bills uh, again some more figures really really cool um again i've got so many heads and swip swaps on this this is basically all i'm going to use it for is just swip swapping parts and doing all sorts of stuff some really cool fade-ins and stuff and these nice like translucent glow-in-the-dark greens and blacks i thought they looked pretty phenomenal i think like that middle part goes to the skeleton could be wrong bunch of extra heads bunch of extra parts it's all just scattered across the desk now but a really good lot for a really good price part of the skeleton armor again too that might go to a shin i believe couldn't pass it up either way it was just you know huge lot lots of stuff lots of really cool stuff lots of cool looking figures i gotta put on the rest of his armor but there you go i kind of pieced them together a little bit for you so you can see but he's a dope looking skeleton oh man i love collecting these guys i've got a bunch more coming in i think too those will be part of the uh the next uh mail haul i'm pretty sure okay push all these things to the side for now just all these extra pieces they're just gonna flow around for a minute all right let's do this big box here let's see what's in this sucker again i like forget what i got oh i think i remember what's in this one yes i have a secret little store that i shop at sometimes when he has glios figures in it's actually a guy like in my state so the packages always come really fast it's not like the best priced um he can be a little expensive and he always packs in these stupid peanuts but it's a really fast shipping and he's got some cool stuff Oh, these things are such a mess. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay, that'll be fun to clean up in a minute. All right, let's get these guys out though. Let's see this one. One of the original packaged Kabudu Mushi figures from the God Beast in like the awesome, very nice cool packaging, which I haven't gotten a figure like this with the cool art and everything. It's really nice. I, I kind of want to keep him sealed, but... uh. <laughs> Oh, man. I, he's a dope figure, though. I mean, look at him. He is sick looking. Love the style on this guy. So, kind of want to open him, but also, like, I don't have one just nice and sealed with the art. So, almost kind of want to keep it sealed. I don't know. Am I to that point where I'm just going to keep sealed glios? I don't want to be. I want to just open them all. A cool figure, nonetheless. Let's see what else we got in here. We got some other pretty cool ones. Another one that's very similar to that one, except, you know, it's just in the standard packaging sealed packaging uh very very cool though love the vibes of these kind of halloween-esque they're not the true like halloween ones so i don't know what series these are from either but they just look dope i mean come on really really sweet looking one more in here i think and we yeah we got like i think this might be the halloween version of this dude Ugh, you guys gotta see one of these opened up i should probably just like open one of these i might do that they look really sweet i'm gonna open it this guy's getting opened Okay, now I know, I know, I probably messed him up and this isn't quite how he looks, but like I think there's an extra arm here, like these arms could switch for the bottom or something, but something kind of, sort of, these guys are super cool and you can do a lot with them with this ball sphere type version of these dudes and again, they have some really cool pieces you can 
put on other things, especially like the wings and stuff. So something kind of sort of, I feel like I might've messed up and these go on the bottom. I'm pretty sure it is, but whatever. You guys get the idea. They're pretty sweet. doesn't really matter. It's Glios. They're custom figures. You do them however you want. Let's pull one from this side here and see what's in this little bag. Let's get on in there and pull it out. What do we got in here? Oh yes, the Sinkerborgs. Very cool. Got two of these guys. I, I Now, I already have a couple of these guys, but they're just so cool. And again, the parts for these dudes are really, really sharp. Like, there's a lot of good blocky pieces, and they look stellar. These guys look awesome, like, set up fully. So I've been trying to find good deals on these figures when I can find them. But there you go. That's how they look. They look freaking sweet. And now I've got a bunch of pieces, several of these figures, a really cool find, good price on them. And yeah, very, very happy with these. Like, look at their little like knives they got going on here. It's like a knife hand. Really, really sick. I'm excited to build with these. We can make some, we or I, <laughs> whether I do like, cause I'm considering doing more like building videos, maybe if there's interest in that, like me setting up and building stuff. Uh, but let me know if there's interest in that. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that yet. These things are kind of finicky and sometimes it's hard to get that all on camera <laughs> easily. So. These guys are dope, though. They're kind of like Terminator-esque, uh, crazy axe-wielding, sword-wielding, terrible cyborgs. They're pretty dope. Oh, there's more in here. Almost just chucked the package away. That's right. I got some extra little building blocks here, some extra little pieces for building stuff. We got to speed this along. I think I know what's in this package, and it's going to be a good one. So let's rip it open carefully. Don't want to damage the stuff inside. Oh, this is going to be a longer video, I can tell. Yes, this is the Godby stuff. So here we go. I got another Kabuto Mushi. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that today. A really cool red and black one. Very similar to this, but it's the variant color. And it's this figure instead of the weird looking biomass guy. So really cool figure. All right, there's the red one I was talking about. Like the red biomass guy. Very neat. And I am trying to collect up these specific variants to make something really neat. Okay, now we get into the cool stuff. We've got some unpainted Mushis here from the new drop that he just came out with. Uh, a version of the Mushi and the other guy, which I forget his name, but these are unpainted. Basically got them just for extra parts, but they are really dope and very limited to get to these, just the unpainted. So glad I picked these up. All right, here we go. So the new run that the God Beast just put on was the Cell. He did Cell from Dragon Ball Z, kind of based off his designs off of that. Really dope looking. This is just his one basic character for him. And then he had like an extreme version, which I also got. <laughs> And here it is again. There's so many pieces. I'll put a picture up on screen of what it's supposed to look like, but just a massive amount of pieces and parts and figures. You can just create and build for hours with all these parts. It's insane. So I definitely wanted to get it to support him and support the cool new Dragon Ball Z Cell. Cell's a pretty dope looking character and he did a great job with these figures. So very excited about these and getting these in and very excited to build, especially with these oh, translucent pieces and stuff. It's going to be awesome. And as you can tell from the picture I put up, Oh man, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. I need a, a night and a half to build this guy. All right, we need some more room, so let's get a box out of the way. All right, what do we have in here? I hope it's the figure I'm thinking of. I told you guys I got some really cool, interesting ones, and I'm just destroying the box. And if this is the guy I'm thinking of, i got to be extra careful. I think it is. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. Oh boy. You guys ready for this? My first custom Glios figure. Oh, and of course, it's Cthulhu. A Cthulhu Super Cray Booth custom paint job, custom build. Uh, this is from a guy called James Tarpley. He does custom Glios figures from time to time. And this is actually one of his older uh, little Glios design guys that he's done. Back before I even got started in Glios, I uh, follow a bunch of Cthulhu Lovecraft ch stuff on Instagram, and I saw a picture of this guy on Instagram. I said, oh, that's sweet. And that's a Glios figure. That looks like an amazing custom job. That's super, super awesome. And then literally one day I was just thinking about it. I'm like, oh man, that was such a cool figure. I got to find that post again and check it out. And then I was like, oh, I should go on eBay and see if there's like any cool custom Cthulhu 
uh, just toys in general that are on eBay. And sure enough, I uh, popped into eBay and look who was there. Just sit the same exact custom Glios, one of a kind, Super Cray Booth custom by Tarpley, just sitting on eBay well, randomly. I, I picked the absolute perfect point for me to go on eBay and search for a custom Glios uh, figure, and he wasn't even under Glios, actually. He was just under custom Cthulhu, and uh, I already knew he was just a Glios guy, so pretty freaking awesome to find him uh, after, you know, seeing him so long ago, a couple years ago, on an Instagram post and being very impressed, and now I own it. It's one of a kind. He didn't make any others of these, and uh, it's just, it's very cool. Like, what a fantastic paint job and everything he added the wings obviously he added all the cool tentacles and covered up some of the eyes kind of redid the shape and head of the super cray booth and then did a nice paint job with the greens and blacks looks sick so let's go into the next package that was definitely the coolest one i think that i was excited to show off i know what this one is this is a very cool oh geodraxis frost frost geodraxis very like uh, you know, snowman, Elsa, whatever, but it looks sweet. Like the translucent blue mixed with that, like fogged out white, a really six geo six, real sick geodraxis. These guys are awesome. Love picking them up. Looks like there's something else in here. Oh, Hey, some freebies. Whoa. These look custom. These do not look normal. This is from, you know, God, uh, God be stuff. Um, I forget what these dudes are called, but this looks like a custom paint job. I don't know what he's from. Very cool. But these look custom, man. This doesn't look like a normal paint job. That is freaking sweet. Nice little extra. Maybe they're not custom. Maybe this was a paint. That's just, it doesn't look like something that would be in the basic thing. I mean, that looks like custom paint job. Come on, tell me in the comments. What do you guys think? And if this wasn't enough already, we have one more package. Let's get into it. I'm actually not... 100% sure what's in this one. I kind of forget. Oh, yeah, these guys. Okay, okay, I remember. Another eBay find. We got these really cool bio mutants, a nice silver and an orange. I'll pull them out here, but I got a bunch of extra pieces in there as well. Check out how cool this bio mutant is. He's a really dope looking translucent orange, very stellar looking, and a very nice pairing with this like steel metallic looking one. Kind of want to combine them. I think it would look dope to combine these two. They kind of go together pretty well, but a very nice lot. And all those extra pieces just made the price that much more worth it. Good price for these guys. Holy crap, we're done. Wow, that was a lot. Uh, yeah, I'll try to maybe keep it a little bit shorter next time. I kind of went overboard with buying over that last few weeks and uh, they all piled in pretty quickly. So maybe if I do the next Glaros Mail Hall, it'll be a little bit less, but hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff that we got here. Pretty cool stuff, and uh, make sure to leave a like. If you enjoy the Glaros stuff, please show the support, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for more stuff. I'm hoping, hoping to start doing the Armivores review video. I uh, definitely want to hit that next. Again, I'm in communications with God Beast here, Marty, and uh, he's going to hook me up with some info on the Armivores uh, so looking forward to that, and I hope you guys are too. So look for that soon. Uh, until then, that was a lot of glios. Holy cow. Don't know if I'm rethinking my life decisions yet, but definitely not rethinking this guy, though. Favor one. So cool. All right, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. We will see you guys in the next video.